Tonight, a truck spilled hydrochloric acid on the Ohio Turnpike, shutting down lanes in Streetsboro. Troopers say the driver fell asleep and flipped the truck off the road. The accident marks the second time this week a sleepy truck driver has been a danger on the road, and it happens more times than you may realize. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson just got back from a ride along with the Ohio State Highway Patrol. He joins us live in the newsroom. Curtis? Danita, on many of the state's highways, sleep kills. Straight and flat for miles in both directions, the Ohio Turnpike is not exactly the scenic route. Yeah, Trooper Eric Radarski says the Turnpike can be almost hypnotic, especially if you're tired. But at least once a night we're going to get called for either an impaired driver or a fatigued driver. Next to speeders, sleepy drivers like this one are the most dangerous people on the road. That includes those who drive under the influence. Somebody being awake and driving or being awake for 24 hours has been shown as an equivalent of uh, a drunk driver with a blood alcohol content of 0 0.10. The effect is the same. Fatigued drivers weave from lane to lane, completely unaware of their surroundings, making them seven times more likely to crash than anyone else on the road. It may come as no surprise that commercial drivers are most at risk, especially after this week. On Monday, a truck driver fell asleep on the turnpike and slammed into a Ford Focus, killing a Maryland woman and critically injuring her two sons. And then early this morning, a truck hauling hydrochloric acid ran off the road and flipped over on its side, forcing the evacuation of 20 nearby homes. That driver also fell asleep behind the wheel. So there's some drivers that are uh, local that are out here for their eight or ten hours, and there's a lot of them paid by the uh, mile. So they're trying to get as much as they can, get as many hours in, many, as many miles in, so it's more money they're going to make. So state troopers have stepped up patrols. People too tired, therefore too dangerous. Yeah, it's just a warning. Okay, just be careful. Come on. State Highway Patrol is using the three E's to reduce the number of fatigue drivers, enforcement, education, and engineering. They are writing more tickets, putting out more public service announcements, and installing more rumble strips to keep drivers alert. In the newsroom, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5. And usually the rule of thumb, if you feel too tired to drive, don't. Exactly. Thank you, Curtis.